Wow, you guys, Kling 1.5 Pro does dropped. In case you don't know what Kling AI is, so it's a company that focuses on text to video models. I'm so excited to show you guys some cool examples I found online, and there's even something more exciting towards the end of the video where Kling AI has an embedded feature called Magic Brush, basically a wand for controlling characters. Yeah, it sounds kind of weird, but stay till the end of the video to find out why this is a killer feature with this new Kling model. Alright, let's see some uh, cool examples of um, this video generation model. Okay, starting from the least impressive, it's not even as though it's the least impressive, but it's just that the fidelity isn't great, but you can see the prospects of this thing. So this urban climber kind of hops around buildings in a unique and twisted way. Imagine a year or two from now, where this Kling AI model understands the laws of physics better, and this urban climber jumps around that video game, but looks real and cool. But I must say, they have done a good job with the environment, the lighting, the reflections, and the shadows look very nice. It's giving me these prototype vibes. When I was younger, I played prototype 1 and 2. For those of you who have played this, shout out to you guys. Um, but like the video games in the future are going to be sick. Alright, I have um, a lot more nicer examples to show you guys. So moving on. So yeah, before I forget, I could have added the prompts to these videos or uh, to these models' outputs, but I couldn't find most of them. So just bear with me for this one, okay? Um, Alright, um, this second generation looks too nice and full disclaimer like you're gonna uh, be hearing me say a lot of positive things uh, throughout this video because first of all this is a second generation product uh, and second of all like this product in general just like performs well and that kind of thing so if you think i'm gonna bash or fault this product for some minor shading er um, errors here and there artifacts here or there or incorrect like asset generation here or there nah i wouldn't uh, I'm not here to nitpick on the mistakes, uh, so I just want to like just give my overall take on it. Yeah, so you can see for yourself, the biker shots look like something you would see from a car chase in Mission Impossible. It's decent, it looks nice, yeah, and that's all I have to say about it. So yeah, moving on. So you check this one out. Um, what like does it remind you of? Like, let me guess, Star Wars, right? yeah it was star wars for me but like this stuff looks tough like it looks like the <laughs> like your high-end pc is going to grind so hard to capture this environmental destruction i love the um the explosions and heck the fires from these explosions look way way stunning like the real deal like what you have in reality itself so the associated fumes from the fire is just plain good looking. Like I said, I told you guys, like I wasn't going to bash this model because this model looks like it performs well. It, it like it outputs things that you would hardly think it came out from a model. You think it was shot from an actual DSLR camera. So yeah, so that's it for yeah for this uh, particular example. This mom and a child look so good. So what I love about this one is uh, how the baby's face the forms a little when it's smashed together with the woman's face so i'm just saying the skin contact between the mom and a child is very well captured by this model i always seen the breadth of a like of a no skill filmmaking um let's say type of model like you don't need any skill you don't need to know maybe premiere you need to know after effects nothing like that just type your prompt and like the model does its job so yeah so this could send to hollywood right um, right now but i guess people don't really pay attention to this advancement until it's right on their doorsteps ready to take their jobs so yeah if you're enjoying this video so far please leave a like and subscribe to my channel thank you um all right moving on to the next scene so this scene is just like the pre um, spaceship scene um it's a cool generation it's giving forza but on steroids but seriously, guys, are you seeing the flames in this output? It is sick as fuck. Like, very sick. Yeah, it's just like the real deal, like a real flame that you that, that you could see anywhere and that kind of thing. Alright, moving on. So, here are four clips that look alike. So, let me give you a moment. Uh, what can you tell me about all of them? Look at them closely. Do you notice it? Yeah, I know that like um, characters in this shot are so detailed, but like, do you see the emotions behind these characters? Um, the face movements and uh, yeah, 
it's quite good so the first uh, frame looks like the woman was kidnapped and uh, forcibly told to take a slice of pizza if not she was going to starve and that kind of thing and she was kind of crying and everything so yeah it like it looks nice so um the second shot um the man and the lady seemed like they were about to lose their mind over a news or something like they just heard and that kind of thing yeah so you could see the emotions from like character movements and everything that's what makes this model kind of nice and everything yeah and again this model is so good like are showing these subtle kind of emotions yeah so so basically for me that's like that's one of the highlights of this model so the third frame looks um like a meme um specifically this meme and um yeah so you know what i mean by by this meme so i don't need to explain this one that much yeah so the last frame like um oozes out this emotion of like devastation and that kind of thing like as if she was like permit me maybe russia ukraine war and that kind of thing so yeah uh, moving on to the next example so um back to the best feature of this release remember earlier we talked about the feature called magic brush you can now control the assets to perform emotion by swiping in the direction you want it to go same with the moon shot and the final shot which is the cut shot like it's quite cool like this is kind of nice it, it to me it's mind-blowing that kind of thing yeah so these examples make me so interested in having this product already i can't wait for when it will be element wise body manipulation instead of full body manipulation so what i mean by element wise manipulation is like being able to individually control different parts of the body like the hands the legs the face the lips the no you can't control your nose but like the eyes and that kind of thing so you get my point so that's when this thing will bring like a lot of like let's say value to like let's say it's wielder like the video editor the filmmaker and everything so yeah moving on i can't wait for like that magic brush element wise manipulation for the magic brush uh, future so yeah don't just click out yet um have you seen this one um again the emotions of this i keep on saying these emotions emotions because like it actually gives out human centric emotions and that kind of thing and you can see it from like these shots and that kind of thing so what comes to mind is like love like the elements in this scene um it's not spot on like the raindrops feel static in the background and the drops remain static on the foreground like let's say on top of the character's eyes maybe hair without falling and that kind of thing so it doesn't like give off like the right physics of how a raindrop should like let's say function so yeah so this is the final one i want to show you guys did your just just drop yeah mine dropped when i saw it at first are you seeing how detailed this thing looks like um this soldier looks he looks like someone who is traumatized looks like someone who has just seen like his friend die or something and that kind of thing and and, and all i just have to say is like respect respect fam like this model really killed it with like this example this is by far my best example of this like entire um let's say curated list of examples i kind of made for you guys and it's it's just giving like uh, it's 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 giving something cool and that kind of thing so respect that's all i have to say respect so what do you think about this model so far leave your comments down below as for me this model is pretty good and that kind of thing you know if i was IGN, i would have given this model like uh, let's say 7.5 or 8 and that kind of thing it was pretty good but it still has some let's say some scenarios to work out like let's say um um the physics side of things the raindrops maybe um yeah and some other certain type of things but like character detailing emotions and everything are on point the environments also have my admiration and they're a good sight and a delightful sight to kind of behold so yeah if you enjoyed this my video please consider liking and subscribing it helps to push my video to folks that i'm interested in like this type of thing as you and i and it helps to grow my small community on this platform i hope to reach 500 followers rather 500 subscribers sorry yeah before um let's see before next year and everything yeah so i'll see you guys in the next one yeah bye bye